Simple hack you need to be rich in the 21st century. A few months ago, I was having a conversation with one of my friends. He's a mid negative individual. He thinks the era we are in is not favorable. I mean, he thinks our fathers lived at a better period in human history than us. And the truth is, so many people hold this view. And whenever I meet or hear from any of them, I have a reason to actually cry. Really? Why do these people think that it was easier to be rich and successful last 50 years than it is today? I think it's because they don't have an insight into the past. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the simple hack you need to be rich in the 21st century. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this, alright? Now, think about this. If you were born in the 19th century, you might only travel to 10 cities all your life. However, today, an average person travels to tens of cities in their lifetime. If you were born in the 18th century like Benjamin Franklin, you live in an era where books were so expensive that you would have to sell some of your clothes to buy some. Today, almost every information you need is free as long as you have a smartphone. Just 30 years ago, if you wanted to create a product as an ordinary person, the market you can sell to is your town, city, if you're rich, your state. Today, however, ordinary guys from the poorest countries are creating products and services and they're selling them to the entire world. Now, globalization is no longer for the rich. It's now for everyone who is smart. Just a few years ago, if you wanted to be an entrepreneur, you needed hundreds of thousands of dollars because you have to build factories and acquire many machineries. Today, smart guys are starting businesses with $100 and internet connection. If all these are true actually, which of course they are, why are most people still poor in the 21st century? Well, I think most people are poor despite enormous opportunities in this era because one, they lack the basic understanding of history. For you to function well in any generation, you have to have basic knowledge about the previous three to five generations. You have to know what was obtainable then and what is obtainable now. Knowing the past is the surest way to function well in the present. Number two, lack of appreciation for the opportunities in the 21st century. Now, if you don't know the past, you are not likely to appreciate the present opportunities in this century. Listen, I'm an entrepreneur and I started my business ventures in the traditional bricks and mortar way. I spent many years trying to sell products to a few hundreds of people. That was the world in the last 30 years. However, when I got to know the opportunities the internet and several other technologies present, I became restless. To me, it's heaven. Like, it is literally heaven. To me, my abilities to create a product that people can buy nationwide is a miracle because I was a poor guy. Even getting people from other countries to buy my product is no longer a miracle. Actually, I don't have a word for it. Now, this video you're watching will be watched in more than 30 countries. Who could have made a video to last 20 years and get people to watch it in 30 countries? Not even a million dollars could do that for you. Yet, we're doing it now absolutely free. To me, this isn't a miracle. I actually lack the right word for it. A few years ago, I wanted to raise money for my business idea. I eventually got a lot of money from a friend I met on social media, on Facebook. Tell me how that was possible 20 years ago. Now, we can go on and on to count how much blessings this generation has. The blessings our forefathers thought could only be in heaven. But even with all these blessings and opportunities, most young people still complain and blame other people for their poverty. How is that possible? And now, how can you escape such a deadly trap? The answer is simple. Compare the past with the present and be grateful. Except you genuinely appreciate the enormous opportunities in the 21st century, you'll be a victim just like my friends I told you earlier about. You'll complain and think you're unfortunate, while in the real sense, 
you are living in the most fortunate generation ever. If you've been on the internet for some time, I'm sure you will know Gary V. See, I love this guy because he's a crazy man who sees the internet and other technologies as miracles to exploit. But he doesn't just get to that level. Gary is able to appreciate and take chance of the opportunities we have in this generation because he lived in the previous generation. A generation where you were extremely limited. A generation where you needed hundreds of thousands to start a business and another several thousands to run a single page ad on New York Times. If you lived and tried to be rich in such a generation and you're still alive today, you will not believe your eyes. If you've tried to run an ad in New York Times 20 years ago and you needed thousands of dollars to do it and today you see Facebook, Instagram or YouTube, platforms that you could reach millions of people for free, there's no way you wouldn't be crazy about that. Now, you don't necessarily have to be old enough to have been an adult in the last 20 years. You just have to count your blessings. You have to look at the smartphone in your hand. That thing gives you the opportunity to connect with people from anywhere in the world. If you know how to really connect with meaningful people, that's a blessing. Because good network leads to good ideas and good ideas leads to wealth. Now, if you look at Google, that's a massive blessing. Today, you can learn in one year what an average professor of the 15th century knew all his life. Again, good information leads to good decisions and good decisions lead to more success. Look at the social media. For the first time in the history of the world, ordinary people can stand up and create a movement that makes them popular, that makes them rich and that makes them successful. Now, the big question is, how are you using these platforms? Look at YouTube. It has never happened in the world that you can sit down in your room and make a video and without any money, you publish such video to a million people to see while you make your money off that. Thousands of young people are making more money today from the social media and YouTube than their parents ever worked for. Look at the app market. Many ordinary people have created apps that have made them millions. Some who are not making millions have created an app that gives them more money every month than any employer can give them. Now check this out. Today, I have a business that makes me money just by me or my employee receiving calls. The way it works is that we have a blog where we are selling different products and when people reach this blog and wish to buy any of our products, some of them pay online. Those ones who will give us reason to work before we make money are those who call our lines for further inquiries and one of my employees or I can answer such a call and that's how we make money than what most people work hard for. Now, I can't see how any able person can complain and make excuses in the 21st century. I mean, we are right now in heaven. If you complain or make excuses, it's because you're weak. I need you to be strong. Look around you. Compare now world with the world 50 years ago. That's the hack. Study. Know what was obtainable two decades ago and compare them with what you can do now. This simple exercise will open your eyes to the enormous opportunities we have right in front of our noses. You'll be like me. You'll be restless. You will not believe you are in the world. You'll think you are in heaven. You'll work hard and make too much money. You then look back and thank me for this video. Trust me, you will. <laughs> thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media, all right? If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos just like this one. Look at your screen right now to see two other videos we have picked for you to enjoy next. Remember, we love you.